Located on the eastern waterfront of San Francisco's Embarcadero, Cho chocolate is as traditional as it is cutting edge. As the only chocolate manufacturer in the city, Cho's premium dark chocolates are carefully crafted at the 2800 square meter factory. From selecting the right beans to labeling and packaging. The emphasis is on flavor with categories like nutty and fruity aimed at helping consumers rethink the way chocolate can be experienced. The world doesn't need another chocolate company per se, um, but it needs people who are trying to innovate, to try, to try to make things better. Louis Rossetto is Chief Executive Officer and Chief Creative Officer of Cho. His partner, Jane Metcalf, is the company's president. While Cho only started selling chocolates in the United States in 2009, it is already expanding its global reach. The company's chocolate is now available in select stores through Britain, Ireland, and most recently, Japan. We aspire to considering the entire world, you know, a potential market for Cho, so. With global demand for chocolate on the rise, Metcalf says there are big opportunities in emerging chocolate consuming markets like India and China. For Cho, premium chocolate starts with the cocoa bean. And like wine, uh, chocolate expresses the flavor of the fruit that's being used to make the final product. To get those distinct flavors, Cho scours the world in search of the top 3 to 5 percent of premium cocoa beans, importing them from Peru, Ecuador, Madagascar, and Ghana. Then, through countless laboratory tests, chocolate makers analyze different variations of beans, fermentation, and roasting creating one chocolate bar that meets the desired flavor criteria can take as many as 300 to 400 tests. Brad Kinser is Cho's chief chocolate maker. He says there are as many as 900 flavor compounds in a single piece of chocolate. That's something that um, you know, inspires us here is to, is to try to bring that diversity and that complexity and that excitement to the consumer. With capacity to produce millions of bars of chocolate a year, the factory is traditional in its setup, but also full of technological innovations. A reflection of Rosetto and Metcalf's background as founders of the tech-centric magazine Wired. For example, an iPhone application allows Cho workers to monitor factory controls from heating temperatures to light switches. The use of virtual factory visualization is also in the works and will allow for direct oversight of the factory and employees. Technology and the internet are also utilized to engage cocoa farmers, many of whom have never even tasted the final product. The idea is to provide farmers with training so they in turn will be able to produce premium, higher value beans. And while the cost may be higher, Metcalf says consumers are willing to pay. And it comes from a genuine desire on the part of developed countries to pay a fair price um, and to enable people to have the fruits of their labor um, get them out of poverty. Our intention isn't to put a particular price on what we do. It's to make something that delights consumers and then price it fairly. So far, that philosophy seems to be working. Our sales are growing at a, at a very rapid pace, um, especially considering the current economy. Rob Kopf is director of sales at Cho and says it typically takes between two and three years to break even in a market as crowded as the one for chocolate. We're not looking to necessarily take over the chocolate universe, um, but to the same extent, we don't want to stay as a tiny little local player. So far, Cho has West Coast distribution networks covered and is working to secure distribution throughout other major metropolitan areas. With its new age 21st century look and ethical sourcing concerns, Cho seems equipped to provide for the rising number of eco-conscious consumers. But when it comes to selling a product, how much success depends on the branding. If it doesn't give you that sort of 
oh my god that's so good you've got to try this you know then then all the branding money and packaging in the world you know isn't going to help sell your chocolate in the end it is about the chocolate it is about what it tastes like and while some argue that American chocolate cannot stand up to the global competition, Rosetto recalls how American wine surprised skeptics and says American chocolate can do the same. Today, American chocolate can stand up to any in the world um, and be among the very best. For the 30 employees at Cho, being obsessed with chocolate is just part of the job. For Metcalf and Rosetto, it is a way to interact directly with customers and farmers and with the world, making a positive impact that leaves a sweet taste. For producer Mona Lisa Noor Mohammadi, Amy Katz, BOA News.